U.S. and Russian officials are meeting in Geneva on Monday for security talks. What should the world expect and what are the chances for success? We have to manage expectations. It's obviously great that we will see another round of uh, this strategic stability dialogue uh, next Monday uh, here in Geneva. I think it's good that they meet and talk, but clearly for the issues uh, on the agenda, there are no quick fixes. I would expect this first meeting uh, to be an opportunity to spell out mutual concerns, uh, to spell out mutual expectations. I'm not very optimistic. I think that it's more uh, the beginning of a longer term conversation. Uh, I know that certainly Biden uh, attempted to reset the relationship with the Russians uh, last year. I believe that that's a long and slow process because there are many, many very clear differences between the two, uh, Ukraine being one of them, but there are a number of other dossiers that are quite conflictual at this point. even without uh, now these current tensions, without this uh, meeting about to happen, a NATO membership of uh, Ukraine couldn't be expected anytime near soon, since there is a de facto moratorium on this issue in a few uh, very important Western capital. I don't think the Ukraine will join NATO anytime soon. I do think that the, the country itself is, is in some sense divided. I have no doubts that this geopolitical competition, that this geopolitical rivalry will continue throughout uh, 2022. But uh, I would hope uh, and I would see in these talks in Geneva uh, an indicator for the will of great powers to at least manage this competition and perhaps even manage this competition carefully. This would imply you know, that they identify areas of common interest where they would agree to cooperate despite uh, of this competition.